silver harp. Cholikirama chalk stealer. She had a sense of humor, did Cholikirama. Of the chalk stealer clan of the Harpies. They'd emerged from the swamps. The swamp lands of the heart of Draxonus. They'd emerged in this last few years. The living spirit forming their bodies and flesh and bone and blood from the guts of the swamp. And he'd emerged and fashioned them. Seven of them to start with. Three males and four females. He'd fashioned the guts of the heart. And they'd bred, and they'd bred quickly, and there were plans already, and they were finding the way in the heart of Draxonus. Cholikirama was her name. Cholikirama, a chalk stealer. Because she liked to steal chalk from the chalk tree. She liked to steal it and take it away to a cave and make chalk things from it. The Cholikiyama. She was the chalk stealer. And her husband had bedded with her. And she had a child already, the Cholikiyama, the chalk stealer. And the clan was being built. And time passed in the modern world. A decade came and went. And from Cholikirama came young Junissa chalk stealer. And she was a proud heart and full of fight. And suddenly around her there were hundreds of harpies which had emerged from the heart of Draxonus. And the chalk stealers separated into their clan and drifted up northwards and found a ridge there was foul creatures burning in the pits they were the dragons which they'd seen already which they'd kept distant from and they, they avoided that and came along this ridge and settled on the northern side of it around a valley where there was water and rivulets dri dripping down from the ridge of these mountains, which they heard whispered with the Raven Forge. The chalk stealers settled there, and Cholikirama watched over her daughter, Junissa, as she played and frolicked with the harpies. They were foul creatures in many ways, with a sharp tongue and a sarcastic sense of humor. They would play along the rivulets, which formed into a pond at the center of this valley on the northern ridge northern eastern ridge of the Raven Forge where it got cold in winter quite cold with snow all around and they'd almost freeze but they had tough skin like dragons they had tough skin with the harpies so they would endure the cold and they would build their hutlets and live in the huts and gather their food and they'd make jewellery and they'd make clothing and various bits and pieces of things and they were sarcastic with each other and would play pranks on each other and commit daring feats and they summed up these dragons and word was getting around the Harvey community that they'd take on these dragons one day and show them who was the boss. Because they had a sense of humor. The Silver Harvey, part one. 